Hey, what's up guys, Chad here. I wanna to introduce to you a video that you guys are going to find very interesting. So there's a ton of different stories of guys that come from Western countries, meet Filipinas online and bring them back to their country or move in with them in the Philippines. And a lot of times it happens really fast. In this case, I met a couple in Cebu who met online, but not in the way you think. They actually met through YouTube. She is a popular Filipina YouTuber and he started following her channel. Next thing you know, He's selling everything, quitting his job and moving to the Philippines to be with her. Sit through it. There's so many things that come up through this interview that I think you're going to learn from about the good and the bad and things you might have to adjust for in a relationship like this. By the way, guys, I want to introduce to you the partners for this video. I do one partner video like this per month, Christian Filipina and Filipino Visa. They are affiliated companies. Christian Filipina is an online dating service and Filipino Visa is your go-to option if you are looking to marry a Filipina. So anything that you need in terms of visas to make that happen. Christian Filipina is focused on matching genuine people together. It is more of a serious approach for meeting a Filipina as opposed to some of the dating apps that are out there. It's a completely different experience. So check it out, link in the description. See if their packages are a good fit for you. No obligation whatsoever. And let's get to the video. Here we go. I was actually just kind of scrolling through, you know, looking through like different Filipino foods and then little shorts. And then all of a sudden swiping, I seen one of her cousins. I subscribed to her. And then I think she did an interview with her that's Filipina elated. Yes, Filipina, Filipina elated. elated. Yeah. That's your cousin. Yeah. Okay. She has a popular channel too, right? Yeah, she yeah. does. Um, but they did an interview and so I kind of thought, oh, let me subscribe to her. And she was doing live and so kind of just started and kind of cheated a little bit. I went to Google Translate and said, "Hey, how are you doing in um oh, Messiah?" Yeah. And so I just I pasted that Smart there. Man. And she's like, oh, "You speak you speak Messiah and then they kind of got excited. <laughs> then I ended up finding her Instagram on her channel and started talking to her on Instagram. How is dating and looking for a wife going for you in the, in the U.S.? A lot of cheating um, from the female side. You know, I was married, she cheated on me, and then I got engaged and then she cheated on me. So it was just a, a bunch of that. And then were you trying dating before you decided to come out here after these relationships? Yeah. How was it as far as your options that you were finding when you were going on dates? None very appealing. In what way? Personality and looks. In American standards, they're more worried about themselves. You know, it's me, 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 me. Whereas a Filipina, it's us, 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 family, family, family. Mm. They're all, you know, their personality is generalized to make you feel happy. You came across her cousins, your cousins. Filipina mm -hmm. All right, let's let's get to that. Let's start right there. Then so what? I, I watched an interview with them, and I was like, "Well, she's cute. Uh, she have YouTube? Who is she?" And then she's like, "I'm a Filipino wanderer." I was like, "Oh, cool. She has YouTube." So then I went to her channel and she was actually live. So since she was live on YouTube, I was able to actually interact with her, you know, and it was pretty cool. I was kind of excited, you know, being able to talk to her. When I subscribed to her, she had about, what, 18,000 subscribers? Yeah, 18,000 subscribers. I'm a small fish in a big pond. Um, and I, I guess you say I'm very blessed that her pond has now gotten bigger to almost 60,000 and I'm still here. <laughs> Yeah, and then like um, the first thing that he messaged me is like I'm not really much interested in him. I thought like he's really old. Wait, 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 what? He's what did he say? I thought like he's an old guy. She thought I was old. And then uh, like asking me like kind of desperate to me like when uh, he's asking me like yeah you can move here and you're gonna be everything you know everything you need for the visas like that. And then I said, oh, no, it's kind of desperate. And I th like, I, I scroll it, like, I, it's kind of, you know, he's old to me. Like, I already told you, right, that I was not interested to you because I thought, like, you're very old. Yeah, and then I, I sent the video at work, and I was like, hey, look, sorry for the late reply. I'm still working. And then, yeah, then, and then, then she called me and was excited. <laughs> She's like, hey, wait a minute. You're kind of cute. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, let me. This is interesting. Let me back up a little bit. So you reached out to her after seeing she's cute. She's on YouTube. But were you even 
like meeting that way is not typical, right? Most guys will use a dating app. Yes. Were you trying that? I've tried Bumble, Tinder, Filipina Love, or Panela, was it Pina Love, Filipina Cupid. I've tried all of them. I just, to be honest, it's a lot of spams and scammers, and I really just didn't feel comfortable doing dating sites. And whereas on live, I saw this was, hey, this is a real yeah. person. This is the real deal, no makeup, you know. Hey, maybe YouTube's a dating app. <laughs> when you said hello, how many days or weeks later did you say, I want to take care of you and come there and be with you? I actually, I so offered mean. it. I actually <laughs> offered it to her because, you know. In, right away? Well, I, I made the offer because on that live stream, that was a big topic. That's what they were talking about. So, you know, she was wanting oh. to get out of the Philippines. So I so, said, hey, look, if you want to get out, you know, I will help you. I didn't tell her, hey, we can live together. I was saying, hey, you know, if you need help, you know, I can be a sponsor. Because to go to America, you need a sponsor. I was like, hey, look, I can do that. You know, if you need help, if you want to get out of the Philippines. You said this know. on the live stream. No, I Something said this along in, the lines. In, 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 in Instagram. So you said that on Instagram right after watching the live stream. Yes. You while, reached out and said, hey, I'm your man. Well, we was actually talking on Instagram while she was on live. So <laughs> she's got two phones. Um, one that she can do live with and the other one that she can, like, if someone's asking questions. Because sometimes people ask about doing classes because she teaches. Um, you say in Tagalog lesson. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, um, to my viewers, like if they wanted to, yeah. for $15 per hour. Oh, wow, yeah. good for you. So if you guys wanted to learn, <laughs> then hit me up. <laughs> You're working it. You're yeah. a businesswoman. Yeah. Thank you. Good for you. Good for you. That's awesome. I st uh, we started talking much, like even though uh, we d I do live streaming, so I have other phone, which is like I can do l I can do video call of him like entire days yeah. and even night time. So um, we started doing that and then uh, much a lot of talking and until like about my birthday, like um, first week of May, right? The first, actually it was the the very last day of April, you said, well, I tell you what, come here before my birthday. That's yeah. my challenge for you. It's like, huh? I'm like, you mean three, be there in like two to three weeks? I don't even have my passport yet. <laughs> And so I, she said, yeah, you know, if you want to be with me, then yeah, you need to come here. It's like, okay. So I decided to, we got to talking and it was just best for me to move here. And wow. But it's quite, you know, he got my interest. Like a lot of people like asking for my hands, like even though like offered me a bunch of money to it. Like it's just, you know, it's just different to me, you know, like, and um, he never, he, you know, offered me money, right? He, he never mm -hmm. offered me a money or like something like that. But I just um, wanted just to say that, you know, um, mat money for me is not really matters. Just want to be happy with someone and then he's loyal to me and then we have goals together. Yeah. I have a lot to unpack with this. This is mm -hmm. such an interesting story. So what it sounds like, mm -hmm. you just, you committed. You're like, I like this girl. I have a good feeling. And you just, you committed. It got your interest, but you weren't fully a believer. Because it took you more time. Mm -mm. You almost needed him to actually do it and show up. Yeah. Right? It seemed like you were just, the ball was rolling. You were making it happen. You did it, you arrived. And that's, at what point did you take it serious? Uh, what point did I take it serious when I asked him, can I, okay, if you're interested to me, then you need to come here before my birthday so that you can join me during my birthday. And then like, and then like I know that it's hard for him to get here like especially it's just a week you know but like he make it happen and then he even like uh, he decided to come here like May 22 but he um, and then after that May 20 and then he until decide to come here early than that like May 12. We talked for about a week like 10 hour days 12 hour days you know on the phone getting to know each other and then that's when she said Pretty much seven days after we started talking, for real, she's like, well, if you want to be with me, okay. come to the Philippines for my birthday. That's when you took it serious. You're like, all right, I'm doing it. Okay. I'm yeah. coming. Exactly. And then from that point on, it, it, you were chatting all the time. Yeah. It was You were serious about it at that point. 
Yeah, I wasn't like because you know um, I am kind of tired like talking to someone like especially they are young and yeah. then they will not they will just gonna give you some promise and then I'm tired That's of right. it so I just make it like um, I turn myself like into uh, busy in something else yeah. you know so I wasn't really much interested upon like having a boyfriend you know after after everything's happened but he made it happen so I like oh, okay he's very interested in me and then uh, but um, one thing also that I me, I am not really much interested of him that time is like I know he have Instagram and then I saw some girls in there in the following areas but uh, when we moved each I mean like when we are when we meet like we're very open to our phones and then I saw like he's not flirty flirty to the other woman so it's all fine to me that's a that's a good point so mm -hmm. talk about what made it work talk about honesty and being mm -hmm. open that's been a big part of your dynamic together yeah sure uh, we're very open to each other like <clears throat> almost everything like yeah trust it really really you know with being her being a big youtuber trust has got to be it has got to be the most important thing um, because a typical relationship like if you don't have that trust a typical guy would be upset that you know out of 71,000 people that watch her one stream, 40,000 of them are gonna flirt with her. You know, they're gonna say, can I marry you? You know, can I give you a baby? You know, they, they I'm not gonna say a lot of them because people need to grow up, but you know, everybody wants Anne. I think I have the most desirable, most desired YouTuber in the Philippines. So I have a lot of jealous people. I really do. Does that make you nervous? Does that make you uncomfortable? How no. do you feel about it? I find it kind of cool. You know, I'm not nervous because she gets an unwanted message. First thing she does is she sends it to me. And there's some of them that I wish she would have never sent. <laughs> like every almost everything like for example like um i someone sent me a message i opened the notification so like if he wants to go through my phone because sometimes we shared phones together so she can just uh, he can uh, just you know uh, see those there's people there's nothing hiding yeah no. there's no hidings between our relationship it's but so sometimes cute. like you know i make tampos like i tried like sometimes to make him mad <laughs> like i'm trying to delete some messages and then he said why you deleted the it <laughs> like that was just a kind of like a making mad and then I feel fun to it so that's one Aww. thing <laughs> that is a Filipino's favorite thing to do is to see how much they can get under your skin in one day <laughs> they will they will do that like she just said she has tried to make me mad intentionally um like if I say hey I love you and then she'll look at you mm-hmm and, and then she'll start giggling like she knows she, what she's doing <laughs> so did that take some adjusting for you yeah was it kind of confusing it's it's still confusing i'm still getting adjusted to it why do you do that oh uh, like <laughs> i feel like you know i feel like sometimes when we're always together i felt bored sometimes <laughs> so i want to make something like I wanna make him mad, but like after all, like I will just giggle that and I told them, okay, you can just have my phone because I'm, you know, to yourself that I'm not chatting with anyone. Just make him, you know, make him mad. I'm, I'm not sure, but we all know that in the beginning of a relationship, kind of um, like in honeymoon stage, you know, and I want, you know, like I want him to stay with me through that kind of attitude of mine because you know I know to myself that I will gonna stay with him, but. I just like uh, I don't want to be to date another man to man you know different kind of man you know because um, like especially I already um, introduced him to to um, to my YouTube channel and then I don't want people to see different kinds of men on my channel yeah. like it's very you know it's going it's getting you into having a low value woman like having a lot of reputation men is huge. and a reputation. Do you know why she does that and why Filipinas do those little games? As you said, to make him mad. What do you think the reason is? Yeah, I guess what she wants to do is to see if I'll leave and go to someone else. Testing you. Yeah. They test you. It, over time, it probably will get mm -mm. better and it will fade away. Mm -mm. But it's kind of like making sure, and by doing it, by testing you to see how you react, to see how committed you are, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to know, even though you're like he's come all this way, there's still that mm -mm. urge to test. Yeah, your man. yeah. 
Filipinas do that a lot. I know. I put that in and video. sometimes, you know, it's okay. Sometimes, I'll say this, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's her wanting to mess with me or if it's like a, a serious issue. Sometimes. It's she wants reassurance, but it comes across so confusing. Well, right? sometimes we actually have like an actual issue that we're trying to, to work on. Um, I, our biggest one is she's my navigator in Toledo because I don't really quite know the area. And she will literally, uh, like, hey, look, do we need to go left or right? She tap me on the la left side and say, turn right. I'm like, <laughs> what? And then she's doing live while doing this. And then, so, like, her focus isn't all the way there. Doing live? Yes. You're doing live YouTube while you're on the back of the scooter? Yes. yes. Navigating. Yes. For him. And then she gets mad. You passed it. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm confused. <laughs> yeah. How is he rolling with this? Is he doing okay? Yeah, he's really doing is he okay. Is he being patient with all um, of this yeah, stuff? Yeah, I think so. Because, like, um, even though my parents told me, like, can you please change your attitude? And then I cannot because sometimes, like... They're telling you to change your attitude? Yeah, in, like, in terms of, you know... Treat him, um, treat him treating better? Treating him, but I treat him actually better. It's just, like, sometimes, like, I... I go tampos. I'm not sure. I don't know why. It's just happened to me naturally. Like I cannot stop it. Like even though like I am mature somehow, but like it's just like sometimes Desc I go immature when it comes to him. Describe tampo for the viewers that uh, don't know. Okay, tampos is like you're kind of you're not going to talk to your partner or like you're being you're being golfy without just any it's about a valid reason silent silent treatment yeah silent attitude. treatment yeah okay so i've experienced this for me i have a hard time with it i, I don't have key. patience with it myself how do you handle it i found the key for it what's the key to tempo um depending on the situation you have two options one you can feed them and leave them alone and they will go back to normal feed them feed them hers is chocolate you give her chocolate and just step outside for a little I've bit i've heard that she's fine or depending on the situation even this is very rarely but what you do you'll give them some chocolate like feed them and then just hug them and hold them and they'll be mad at first but then they'll open up to you and be like Okay, well, thank you for sticking around. So that'll shorten the uh, duration yes. of the tempo. Either that or you'll get beat on. Wow, good for you. <laughs> you take the high road. What about feeling uh, offended, for lack of better words, that she's doing that to you for no valid reason? Do you ever feel like, I don't deserve this. What did I do? You're, you came all this way to, to be with her. So Some, how, do you ever feel that way? Sometimes, you know you can get emotional you know like in some situations you know you're worried you know did i do this for nothing you know and i, I guess you'd say in the serious cases where she's really tampo to we've had a few arguments where she kind of got really upset do you ever get hurt when she's tempo feeling like you don't deserve it and uh, how do you process that because giving her chocolate and giving her a hug it works better and you're not taking it personal you're taking the high road right you're yeah. just saying you know what whatever do your tempo let me make you feel better let's move on sometimes, it's very mature right sometimes that doesn't work oh that doesn't even work some there's there's been a time or two where that doesn't even work and that's when i kind of start you know digging in my own head okay well what did i do to you know to cause this okay well, I didn't do anything to cause this well, what did I do to deserve this you know and then then that's kind of when you start going in your head it was like you know was this trip a waste of time waste of money you know I guess you start eating at your own self but you have to kind of realize hey look this is a natural thing that the Filipinos do they do Tampa it's part of their culture so just don't let it get to you <clears throat> you know just it's not actually personal. No, it has nothing it's not to do with personal. what you did. You didn't do anything. It's just part of the yeah part of the DNA. Yeah, is what you're saying. So it's it's nothing against you. It's just let it run its course. It's like the flu. Let it run its course, and it'll get better. I talked to a married man that said he now loves tempo.
because he's got three days to go do whatever he wants. I've heard that before. <laughs> it's like freedom, baby. <laughs> yeah, I've and heard that. And she's just mad for a few days, and then she's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so obviously you bring a lot to the table because you're still here, you're happy, I've seen you together, you, you know, you're affectionate with each other. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the positives and why it's all worth it despite the tempo and these things. Yes, I'm going to tell you the number one best thing so far. The cooking. The cooking? Yes. So feeding your belly makes you feel better. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, I do not know the name of I know it's some green bean soup is all I call it. What is it called? Mungo. Mung Mungo's. Mungo. Oh, called that Mungo's. Ah, I think I've had that. Very yeah. good. Yeah. With, it's just little green peas with jalapenos, coconut milk. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I've had that. That and all the adobo she cooked, except the one with banana. She okay. put banana in her adobo. So she cooks for you. What else does she do for you that makes you feel happy and loved and that this is all worthwhile? Be honest with you, she puts up with me. Okay. I, I, I like We've talked about you know the negatives, but at the same time, nobody's perfect. I'm goofy. I get annoying. I know this. I'm a Leo. That's part of my trait. But she puts up with me. We're, we're able, I guess you say like yin and yang. We we kind of flow with each other and it works out well. What about um, decision making? Decision making, no. It's not different in the U.S. because with this one, we can, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be honest. With this okay. one, <clears throat> we can decide to go do something. Ten minutes before we get ready to leave, hey, we're going to do this. And so, then, so she's the decision maker. She's the indecisive decision maker. <laughs> she decides on what we're going to do indecisively. So, And I, I make her mad by asking her, hey, what are we going to do for today? I ask her that ten times because every time is a different answer. You know what's interesting about this? Mm -mm. You're realizing you're just figuring things out because mm -mm. you didn't really know each other. Yeah. You just came out and now that's why these topics are coming up because you're working through a bunch of stuff that yes. is normal. So with that said, you're still together. Talk about your feeling of optimism and some of the things that are, despite all this, mm -mm. why is it working? It sounds like it's working and you, you're happy with each other. Is that right? Yes. yes. Okay, let's talk about that. Um, are you at me go first? No. Yeah, go yeah, first. Whoever. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the reason why it's working is I mean, we get each other. We get each other very well. Um, we have the same goal in life, the same plans. You know, we want to, I guess, like travel. Like, my top three places that I want to go to is Switzerland, New Zealand, and Japan. And what are yours? Same to me as well. Yeah, we are, like, everything like, goes to, like, and then we are really kind of, um, Almost of our plans is like matching, right? So it's like hard for me to compromise because like it's already, it's already there. It's we already have the same goals and plans, and then where to visit, and then aside from that, like we're kind of brainstorming of what our plan for our future because like right now we're including everything to each other, you know, working to our plans. Like keeps things exciting. Yes. Yeah. Gotcha. Like having a, our own house, something like that, and then if I see this kind of thing, I think, babe, like it's not good, then maybe we can find something better. So it's just like, oh uh, yeah, something like brainstorming, you know, it's really good in a relationship, and then um, being open, so uh, we're very much open, like I never had a very open relationship so with someone, like she's actually a, kind of, a type of person that I can like be open to myself, like, uh, before I never done this before like I need to hide my the other me so him is like I can show him who, who am I and he respect me and mm, then uh, likes respecting each other as well like um, I never had like you know um before like I'm not comfortable of getting their phone something like that but him like I'm very much open like um, trust is so yeah. big yeah, yeah I trust big. him very much compared to my last one it's just like um, it's one of the kind of the best one like uh, I was like praying to God like you know I want to have um, a person and it's a kind of person like I want, I'm looking for because he's a Christian man yeah well. being on the same page with religion is, is mm -mm. probably a big thing for the biggest a lot of for people me. that's a big one for you 
what about having kids? Is that something that you talked about as getting to know part of getting to know each other? Or? Yes, I want two. She wants five, so we're going to well, comp- Filipina. Of so we're going to compromise and go three or four. <laughs> but you both want kids. Yes. yes. Okay, that's obviously a big thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about another big thing? From my experience, a lot of Filipinas would prefer to get married quickly, kids quickly, even after just meeting someone. I mean, you just met. Mm-mm. And you are comfortable like living together right away. So that's a big thing to start. We want to be married before we have kids. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we kind of, I guess you say for her YouTube channel, we don't really want to, they just got to meet me. You know, don't really want to do, um, hey, here's Josh, next week's our wedding. So. Okay, so you don't want to rush into getting married is what no. you're saying, or kids. No, um, what I'm thinking is like, um, because me, I came from the, um, I mean, like my pa- family experienced poverty and then experienced the hard lives in life. And then that's, actually I'm working right now, like me and him, me, uh, me and him, we're planning to have our own house first before getting married and have kids. You know, so I want them to have a comfortable kind of place, uh, shelter. Smart. It's practical. Yeah. And you want to enjoy each other. And- mm Building your relationship, strength, and all that, and travel. Mm-hmm. You want to do all that first, yeah. And we're actually buying land, what, tomorrow? Um, this week. <clears throat> this week. We're going to buy some land. To What we've talked about doing is buy some land, build a house, and then if we decide to move to Cebu, you know, because we've also thought about doing that, moving to Cebu closer to the city, so we can have, our channel will grow, you know, with more people to interview and talk to and things to do. How long have you been together in person? How long have you been here? Since May 12th. Well, what is that for now? Just so they know, like time frame, because when they watch it. Almost two months. So you've been together in person for two months Mm-mm. and big like plans. Like each other, yeah. Right, together every day, but Mm-mm. big plans you're making. A lot of guys have a hard time making that choice, that decision to commit guys come here and there's more dating options than they have back home what is it that makes you feel comfortable committing and essentially going all in um really and truthfully my best advice for for the other men out there that want to do this um maybe not to the full scale of me you know where i sold everything i pretty much i sold everything bought a plane ticket and came here what is it though that makes you feel comfortable? Because what you're doing is you are saying, okay, I'm going to commit to one person and not just commit and just spend time with her, but you are investing in this relationship, right? You're buying land, you're committing. Mm-hmm. What is it that makes you feel, a lot of guys have a hard time choosing and settling with just, you know, that's been your experience. Mm, yeah. A lot of guys just, you don't feel the commitment from, mm, right? Yeah. So. How can you summarize that? Like, you picked one person and you're like, that's it, all in, I'm going for it. Why do you feel so comfortable with that and so quickly? Um, really and truthfully, prayer is a big thing to me. So I, I've done a lot of praying, but I've also have been, you know, I've, I've, I'm growing up, like I'm 27, so I've been through the motions. The grass is greener where you water it. It's never greener on the other side. I think we had touched on that yesterday, you know, the grass, their grass might be plastic and fake, you store bought, whereas, you know, the garden that you're trying to grow is the best one to stay with. At some point, you just have to go with it. I think there's a lot of guys that aren't ready to uh, to think like that. Because I'm not going to lie to you, there is a lot of beautiful people here, so it, you can get in trouble. But never, never settle at that point, right? Yeah. And you already mentioned why you're, this feels right, because he's yeah. the one guy that sort of did yeah. the committing, that, yeah. sh- that proved to you that he's ready. Yeah, and then he's matured in terms of talking to me as well, handling the difficulties, you know, adding things like my tempos and not uh, judging me. Yeah. And I like a guy that is not ju- going to judge me and then my past. Uh, he knows all my past, everything, like, uh, yeah, right? So uh, I think like I can feel like he's the he's the perfect one, 
So I always like when I do tampos, I will always going to tell myself he's the perfect one for you because you're very open to him and then he loves me, and he loves you, something like that. <laughs> so that accepts I'll... you for you are. Mm -mm. So a lot of times, um, when you have those issues you described, a lot of times that will fester and create that toxic environment where you go to bed <clears throat> angry. The next day, it's just the vibe is off. Talk about how how do you overcome when you have these challenges? To we, where you're connected again and feeling good again. Mm -hmm. We didn't sleep um, angry. We need to say I love you, good night before going to sleep. So that's our habit every night. There's there's been a time or two where like we've had a, a really big tempo. Like she got really angry at me for something, and four or five o'clock in the morning she'll wake up. What are you still doing up? Oh, you're mad at me. I'm not going to bed. And then I forgot <laughs> that I was mad. It, it, really, it's like night time. You don't even remember yeah, <laughs> why you were mad. Yeah, and then I was, I feel kind of, I feel sorry for him because I was like, and I saw him like his tears here, and then what is, I didn't say good night, I love you, or like even like fix our um our stuff last night because like we usually sleep very very late. Mm. Yeah, um, sleep so, very very late. So I thought like it's still night time that time when I woke up. Because I fall asleep when waiting of him and he was in the CR. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. basically, you just don't hold grudges. No. Yeah, don't hold no. grudges. Like, uh, sleep with your partner with a op op and a peace of mind. Um, just say I love you and uh, sorry, you know. I usually say sorry because I am the one who have fault to it. Like, <laughs> like when I don't have it. fault. Yeah. And that's part of it, I guess, right? That, that you feel like... That right there is one of the biggest things, you know, like both of us when we do something wrong you know we admit to it hey I'm sorry I was wrong and that right there is a sign of maturity that not a lot of people I know does that talking in financially like a lot of men like looking for someone a Filipina that will not going to um, chase only for money but me basically me and him we do 50 50 and everything Oh, like you do? Uh, yeah, like because just me, right? Me and you, we talk about it because you know he's young, he's young, and then he's young, and then I know that he needs, uh, he needs kind of like he's not the only one who's building for our future. So uh, um, you're so, working together to build. Uh, we're building together. So it's huge. That, like especially he's moving here. That's the reason why we started together in YouTube. So it's gonna help each other building our futures. You know because if. You know, if he's the only one who's building to it, we cannot get there. We cannot get there because, you know, it's a lot of, it needs a lot of foundation, a good foundation to it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's such a big thing, you guys. Yeah. I talk about that a lot too. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Filipinas that just want to be taken care of financially, mm -hmm. it's normal again to want security. Yeah. But the relationships that work are the Filipinas that want to help build wealth together mm -hmm. and in your case you actually already were building wealth because you're experienced with YouTube and teaching yeah how do you look at it because when you messaged her you offered right away yeah you didn't know maybe her financial you're like I will take care of you I am gonna come out there and can you talk more about that yeah um, well like I said I didn't 100% you know throw out there hey look you know you can come move in with me here in America you know I'll and do that what I offered was Hey, look, I will spon help sponsor you, you know, get you a car, help you find a place, stuff like that, you know. Kind of where she can still have her freedom, but also be an American. Oh, so you your thought was bringing her back to America and the let, U.S. That's how it started. That's yeah. how it started. I was offering, you know, so she can have a better education because that's what she was wanting to do at the mm -hmm. time was education. Come to Texas. I mean, Houston Astros. <laughs> <laughs> Come be close to me. Uh, and then, then that's where I was going to kind of, you know, take the time to get to know her and, and go that route. But Is know. it still the plan or now that you're here, <clears throat> what are your thoughts on living here? Oh, now we're just, we're taking care of each other. You know, instead of me taking care of her, now we're taking care of each other. And is the plan to stay in the Philippines rather than bringing her back to Houston? Oh, yeah. Yeah, after, you're here now. After coming here, I was like, why would you want to leave? <laughs> it, this place is amazing, dude. It's hot. And if you white, you will get sunburnt. I love it here, but cost of living pretty good. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, I've I tell everybody in my family, y'all need to come to the Philippines because, like everybody knows, for one U.S. dollars fifty nine pesos now. 
it's going up. I think it might hit 60, and if it does, that's that's going to be pretty cool. It goes a long way here. Yes, it does. How has the lifestyle changed for you? Like, how do you how do you notice that financial uh, impact? Like, how is it changing your life in these new opportunities? I'm still actually staying my frugal self instead of splurging and spending 100 US dollars on a restaurant. 100 pesos at McDonald's is still fine with us. That's like last you're in, night. You're in saving mode right now. Yes, we're all in saving mode. Um, yeah, because, because we have plans. Uh, yeah. yeah. And you'd rather spend that money on traveling and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. because I love more traveling compared to just spending it more in the fancy clothes or fancy restaurants. Yeah. Last words from both of you to talk to the audience. For you, talk to the guys out there that are probably were in your shoes a while ago. What would you say? Just a quick, quick little shout out. Quick shout out for me would make sure you think with the right head. Think smart. You know, don't look at one Filipina and fall in love with her, and then look at another one's like, oh, she's just as gorgeous, and try doing the same thing. Think wisely. If you make a choice and pick one. Yeah. Look stick at the with life it. you get to build now. Yes. Rather than just chasing around girls, you're building a life and a future mm -hmm. way more exciting, right? Mm -hmm. Travel yeah. plans. And yes. Big life exciting plans. You can be like me. Good advice. What about you? What would you say to Filipinas that are oh, out there? What I can say is like, um, pick a good person. Like, um, don't don't always chase money because some of the other men were going to offer you money but it's not a real love that they can offer to you so because uh, I, I mean like money is very much important to us but like love is more way important to us and building to each other just you know um, work to it and then just don't just jump with um, different kinds of person just try to stick to one person because like sticking to one person give you peace and um, high value in life like your life because like if you women like always wanted to be to be around with different men's different men's it's like um, you're lowering your value and it's hard for you to find a right one thank you both for your time mm -hmm. appreciate it great conversation great oh, chatting yeah. with you I think thank a lot you. of people will get a, a lot of value from this for sure hey guys thanks for watching that one I appreciate it I think the main takeaway for me from this video and this interview is that no matter how long you've known someone, whether it be a very quick turnaround from meeting to moving in together like this couple, or you know, if you've known each other for years and then you commit to each other, no matter what, it's going to take work, it's going to take commitment, and it's going to take you know, a willingness to stay together. And in this instance, what I see is a couple that they look at each other as they tick enough boxes for what they're looking for, and they've just stopped looking elsewhere and they're committing to each other despite some of these challenges. And that's really the name of the game. You just have to work at it and make it happen and be grateful for what you have. And I think we can all learn something from that, especially nowadays because it's harder and harder to, you know, for two people to come together with that same approach to a relationship. So I think things are gonna work out great for them. I wish them nothing but the best. And thank you both for your time for this interview. And thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. See you in the next one, bye.